Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of City Spotlight. I'm your host Pablo Pereira. Well, you'd have to be living under a rock lately not to have heard about the Calabasas High School boys basketball team. Less than a week ago, the boys here won their first ever CIF Division III AA City Championship. But their work is far from over out here on the court today, practicing for Wednesday night's big game as they enter the state tournament. Well, joining me now is head Calabasas basketball coach John Pilars. What a great win last week. Talk to me about that. Um, we got off to uh, one of the best starts I have ever seen in a basketball game. Uh, led after the first quarter 25-2 to two and went on to beat uh, South Torrance 69-39 uh, to 39 and just had a great team effort. All right, Spencer Levy is a senior on the high school basketball team, a shooting guard, if you will. What a great game you had, 14 points. Thank you. <laughs> And how did it feel? Um, it felt great. Jeremy Lieberman is a sophomore point guard with the Calabasas High School basketball team. Watched your game. You played amazing. Yeah, thank you. Um, just I, <laughs> I just came out strong. Our team played really well together, and we got a big win. The best thing about it was uh, winning the game, the CIF championship. Um, no team at Calabasas basketball has ever won a CIF championship before and both my brothers went to Calabasas, they didn't win. I've had a lot of friends who also played collegiate basketball who went here, Drew Houseman and Shane, who I talk with all the time, and um, they came up short also. To win that was just something spectacular. All right, joining me now is sophomore Austin Smith. He's a power forward on the team. 10 points, nine rebounds, and how many blocks? Four. How was that game for you? Uh, it, was, uh, it was good, it was a good experience to play on a big stage. Uh, our team stepped up against good competition. Uh, it went well. Here with a senior on the basketball team, a power forward, Nima. He only, he's like the Brazilians and soccer players. He only goes by one name. What's your last name? Sahibi fan. It's a really hard last name. So, so talk to me about the game the other night. How much fun was that for you? It was a great experience being a senior, being in the big situation with the whole crowd there, everyone just watching us, all the news, all the reporters. like. Which is a good way to end my senior year. This was the school's first ever Southern Section CIF 3A title, correct? 3 AA boys basketball first ever championship for the Southern Section, which extends from north of San Diego up to San Luis Obispo. It's the first ever such title for this school. What do you think that means? Um, it, it means a lot. It means a lot to us our coach, um, our family, our community, our school. Um, we, we worked hard all year for this and uh, we did it. Talk to me a little bit about the community and how excited it is. Are you surprised by that? Are you overwhelmed by that or what? Well, you know, we've had, um, we've had uh, again, you know, uh, several successful seasons. We won a league championship uh, uh, two seasons ago and uh, came in second last year by a game. So we've had a good team, we've had good fans, but this year has been overwhelming. It means a lot. It means a lot to the school. It means a lot to us, the seniors. All the hard work we put in all four years finally paid off. All the hours spent in the gym. Uh, you know, making that extra step to a CIF championship level has uh, just made for tremendous support. It means uh, that our hard work and dedication paid off. In the end, uh, we're still going. Uh, we, ju we just uh, want to keep it rolling. This team has really been exceptional in you know the way that they've come together as a team and have had to deal with a lot of uh, you know difficult circumstances off the court in regard to the accident of our assistant coach and you know just being high school students applying to college and you know getting on with their studies and it's been a very hectic demanding year and they've answered all the challenges above and beyond. Let's talk about assistant coach Joe Fraser involved in a tragic motorcycle accident in August of 2011. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, he was uh, riding his motorcycle here from uh, school um, down Ventura Boulevard into the Tarzana area when he was uh, struck by a hit-and-run driver that fled the scene of the accident. and. Um, 
sustained, he was wearing a helmet and he sustained a brain injury and needed um, life-saving surgery to um, keep him alive and he remains in a coma, you know, uh, six months later now, seven months later. Joe Frazier, your assistant coach, everybody on the team has played with a heavy heart for him this year. How much of an influence do you think he had this year on this season? Um, words can't describe the influence. It's ready when uh, we went in the fourth quarters, I think three or four times this year and we've been down. Um, just Joe's been with us. Joe's helped us fight. Joe has brought us together as a team, um, as a family, as a community. and. Uh, just, it's something that can't be put in words how much he's done for us as a team. Joe Frazier, what does that name mean to you? Um, a lot. I worked out with him a lot over last year and over the summer um, before the incident. And uh, it's just, it was devastating for me because he gave me tips. Um, he was, all, if I wasn't working out with him, I always, he, I, he was always in my presence because I, if I was working out with someone else, he was always in the gym with me, working out with some younger kids or team, kids on my team and um, it was just devastating for me. You wear his number, you wear his patch on the kids' jerseys. How has his situation motivated the team? I know you dedicated the season. We, we dedicate the season to him and we, we try to play every time in a way that would make him proud. Uh, he, as a basketball player and as a basketball coach, just had great intensity and he's a great defensive player, great teammate. And uh, these are the types of uh, values that, that he was teaching um, us and that we want to fulfill. What does he mean to you personally? Um, caring. Uh, every, like, over summer school, I would bail on my class for like five minutes coming to the gym and he'd be in there and I'd shoot with him. Uh, he's, he's always wondering, like, what's, what's going on in my life. Um, he's just a, a really good guy. It's sad because I've known him for two years. He's, he was there my junior year on the varsity team. And like, he's, he was just a mentor. He always pushed me to do my hardest, try my best, everything. It's just sad to see like a good person get hurt. Playing basketball isn't so tough compared to other things that you might have to go through in life. And that, you know, little complaints that otherwise m might have derailed this team really haven't mattered this year. Wednesday night, big game. What's it going to be like here? Uh, gym's going to be packed. It's going to be crazy. Um, the school is behind us 100%. The community is behind us. And it's, um, it's going to be a, a wonderful feeling to step in that gym and see all the support. You've done maybe what you set out to. Now it all becomes kind of fun, and you could be state champions. What do you think it's going to be like in this gym behind us Wednesday? Um, I think it's going to be crazy. Um, if we didn't have a lot of supporters before going into CIF, now everybody's behind us. Um, I mean, it's always going to be fun, but it's still business. We still want to get that state championship. It's going to be exhilarating. Uh, it's going to be another good experience. I like uh, I like big, big competition and a big venue, and I'm excited. It's going to be a blackout. That's it. It's going to be loud. It's going to be crazy. How does the home crowd help you? It pushes us. It pushes us to try our best to to make them all happy for coming out, and just pushes us, gives us energy for us to do our best. Of all the sports, uh, basketball is very um, much influenced by the confidence you get from playing in front of a supportive crowd and, you know, the noise of the gym and the proximity of the fans to the, to the game really is, is a crucial element. So we, we, we love those intense games. If we play a good team or something, then we'll have, we'll know what the, what's going to happen in the rest of the tournament. We'll, we'll know what to expect. We'll, we'll know that what it feels like to come out against a really good team and uh, prepare and destroy them. Yeah, well, you know, we're in it to win it. Uh, we uh, just take it one game at a time and uh, we'll try to have the best practice we can have today and tomorrow to prepare for uh, Frontier High School from Bakersfield and um, if we can be successful against them and we'll be thankful we have another game to play. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of City Spotlight. We hope you've enjoyed the program. More importantly, don't forget to go out and support the Calabasas High School boys basketball team as they start their state tournament run this Wednesday night at 7 o'clock at the home gym on the Calabasas High School campus. I'm Pablo Pereira. Thanks for joining us.